Hey, this is the House Hippo interview part two. So, how does it feel like being House Hippo? Yeah, and. Just watch the House Hippo as she attacks, as the prey comes to her belly and sniffs around. Well, she's distracted by this microphone. But as you see, she starts to sniff and look, but she still doesn't know yet. Now, as she falls back on her back, she knows she's in distress. What is she gonna do? She's worried about the microphone and not the not the angry fingers that are getting her belly. And she rolls over and it, it's, she's, uh-oh. Maybe some food and it's kind of put her in a food coma. She's in a coma right now, as you can see. She really doesn't know what's going on. You can see your feet around. Okay, <laughs> Rick. It's like, Rotisserie chicken. Kind of like after you eat Thanksgiving turkey and you kind of get sleepy. That's what happens to her when she eats her Shebas. Mm. And she's just, uh, just, uh, oh, well, she might be coming out of it. Uh oh, something's happening. She's, look at this. The tail's moving faster. She used to dance at Kuku Bongo so long time ago, but she gained too much weight and kicked her out. Oh, watch her. She's going to do a leap. Oh. <laughs> and that was a natural house